the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics, the NAIA, announced yesterday it will ban transgender women from participating in women's sports. The National Small College Organization's Council of Presidents approved in a 20 to 0 vote. Well, maybe because of the word small. Small is good. As a general rule, there are, of course, exceptions. A policy that only students who were assigned the female gender at birth, did they, is that the way they actually, this is CBS, so this is, it shows you how the left has taken over every major medium, assigned the biological gender at birth. God, I'm so tempted to curse. Let me let the temptation roll off me. Hold on a fo- well, minute, folks. Okay. (laughs) I'm too busy suppressing speech right now. It's my own speech I'm suppressing. The language used in the CBS report is vile crap. Students who were assigned the female gender at birth You're not assigned a gender at birth. You're born something. You're not assigned species at birth. Were you assigned human at birth? Were you born human or were you born a cow or bull? You are not assigned anything at birth. You are something at birth. The gigantic lies that CBS, NBC, ABC, NPR, they just spout this crap because they're all run by young leftists who intimidate old nothings. The language is so disgusting. You are not assigned a gender at birth. You were born male or female. And I know there are there is ambivalent genitalia. I understand that. What is that? One out of 500,000? One out of a million? I don't know. That is irrelevant to the point. There are people born with six fingers, but the human species has five fingers per hand. The very language of the CBS report is, is repulsive. Students who are assigned the female gender at birth, only they. What if you're not assigned anything at birth? That's what the AMA has actually. The American Medical Association says don't assign anything. The new policy also blocks transgender women or non-binary students who are receiving masculinizing hormone therapy. Not once in the article does it say it blocks men from competing in female sports. Because at CBS there's no such thing as man or woman. It's all subjective. It is the postmodern, the post-truth world that the left inhabits. That's what allows all leftists to say Hamas is the victim and Israel is the villain. It's all part of the same thing. There is no moral truth. There is no objective truth. Truth is what we say it is. That's what Lenin said. Lenin started it all in 1917 with Pravda. That's why I studied Russian was to read Pravda, not Dostoevsky. And he wanted to read Pravda. Pravda means truth. Perfect. If the New York Times could rename itself, it would be truth. If the Washington Post could rename itself, it would be truth. Truth is what they say it is. There is no truth. (laughs) 
We know there are a lot of different opinions out there. NAIA President Jim Carr told CBS Sports' Dennis Dodd, for us, we believed our first responsibility was to create fairness and competition in the NAIA, which is the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics. Again, you're allowed to have separate but equal opportunities for women to compete, Carr said. He told CBS Sports that all NAIA athletes who are no longer eligible for women's competition could still participate in men's sports. That's charming. (laughs) Of course that's true. Well, anyway, that's a, a rare moment of some good news. It's a philosophical question that I have. I mentioned it to my wife yesterday. She had misplaced her phone then she found it and she was so relieved and I said you know how much of joy in life is the end of misery (laughs) I don't know the answer but it's an interesting question how much joy in life is just a positive joy and how much is an end of misery like you can find something and now you found it or you had it more dramatically of course you had a disease and now you're cured of it I don't know the answer, but it, it's obviously a lot. It's it, it, that that I'm getting joy from the fact that the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics is not allowing men to compete with women is a perfect example of joy coming at the end of misery. I must say, I think that the, the following article... Oh, I was saying something. Oh, yes, it's important to me, very important to me. I was telling you about the the reason if if conservatives lose the country, they will be half the reason. The other half is the left. The ability of, of conservatives, the number of conservatives who have this notion, which is so not conservative, that if I differ with you, you you are worthless. I mean, that's a left-wing idea, but it's also right-wing. So so terrific people on the right who either make an error or say something that one uh, an, another conservative doesn't agree with, that ends their legitimacy. When I when I read of attacks on Ben Shapiro from conservatives, I I am I am stunned. You're not, you, are you not aware of how much good he and the Daily Wire have done? For the full episode of The Dennis Prager Show, go to PragerTopia.com, sign up, and become a full member.